your makeup's ashy, your makeup's creasing, your your makeup's not one of them, all right? If you want your makeup to be one of those girls, you got to get into this video because I'm going to show you how to get this nice, soft glam. So you didn't ask, but I'm going to tell you anyways because you're watching this video. So here are some tips on what not to do and what to do to make your makeup look flawless because girl, you look a mess. First things first, we're going to talk about the brows. Yes, they're so important. They're pivotal. When someone looks at you, they're looking at your eyes and your brows first because that's what I look at. Now, the brows are like your logo for your face, so you wanna make sure you're not overdoing it. If you have lighter brows, fill it in with a lighter color, something that matches. Don't make it boxy, don't overdo it. If you're going for more of a clean girl look and clean girl aesthetic, you don't need to clean it up like I'm doing in this video. If you are a beginner at makeup, you do not need to be in Sephora buying 60 to $100 foundations. You can try Amazon, the beauty supply store, NYX. Girl, you can even go to the dollar store <laughs> i'm joking don't do that this palette that i'm using right now is from boxy charm boxy charm is a makeup subscription it's about 20 to 30 dollars per month depending on your subscription level and that right there already introduced me to higher end and lo lower end makeup that i actually like and i think that's a good value than spending so much on products in one store now we've all heard the concept less is more yes this pertains to your makeup also you don't want to do too much not too much products don't be heavy-handed not too much eyeshadow not too much on the brows keep everything a little bit more natural girl your skin is not starving you don't need makeup you just want it remember that this foundation right here from Fenty Beauty, it's the eavesdrop foundation. It has revived my hope and belief that there is a product out there for me that will match my undertone and give me the light, lightest, the lightest glow from within look. When I was younger and I just started playing in makeup, I would go to Sephora looking for a foundation that matched me to the T. Now I'm black, that's kind of hard. However, the consultants in there, they would bring me a red undertone, a gray undertone, and they'll be like, I know your skin, girl. You don't know anything about makeup. You should try this. And I'll go home and I'll sit with my $50 foundation and sulk because it does not look good on me. All right. So my tip to you guys, like I said before, try out cheaper makeup products not really cheap but like medium price and also do samples because it will help you make your decision a little bit easier and then you can go back and invest in a product this is what i did for this foundation even though it wasn't too expensive i definitely tried out the sample and you can always return that's what helps with buying foundations from sephora and ulta now the girlies don't know how to cook, but the girlies sure do love to bake. And I don't know why, because if you have dry skin, you should have been caking powder underneath your eye and all over your face. You look like a Pillsbury donut, extra powder. Like you see what I'm doing lightly, putting a little bit of powder under my eyes, directly under my eyes. And I do not put powder all over my face, just under my eyes and where I think needs powder. I never got the trend uh, with bronzing because I felt like, girl, I'm black. Why do I need a bronze? However, I've been bronzing recently and I feel like it does give you that warm summer glow. You know, I'm Jamaican, so it, it makes me feel like I'm on the island, even in the winter time. So yeah, find a bronzer that matches your skin tone and bronze. I don't like contouring because I feel like it's a little bit too harsh. So this helps and I just leave it at this step. Back in the day, every time someone wore blush, everybody would cringe. Like, they used to call it rouge. Put a little rouge on, they used to cringe. Ooh, I'm not wearing blush, I hate blush. It's too pink. Now all of a sudden, all of a sudden, all the girls wanna put pink underneath their eyes, underneath their brow bones, in their forehead. It's like too much. Like they keep talking about the trends that need to die and I think over blushing really needs to die. And then girls keep layering four or five different shades of blushes on their cheeks. Like it looks overwhelming, it looks fake. I like to do a little bit of blush. As you can see, I put literally one dot on my cheek. It gave me the rosiness I needed and it's going to wear off throughout the rest of the day. You do not need to put pink all over your face, mama. What are we blushing for? <laughs> Thank you.
I don't know what it is about highlighters, but I love a good highlighter and I'm always going to put it on my cheeks, on my nose, and that's it. Back in the day, I used to put it on top of my lip. I used to put it under my chin. I used to put it under my brow bones and the inner corners of my eyes. You don't need to do all that. It's just too much. So now I just focus it on my nose and on my cheeks and I think it gives you the perfect glow. Don't mind what I'm doing right here. I know I don't. I, said, I just said I don't put it under my brow bone, but you can barely see it. That does not count <laughs> dang i'm i'm just straight up lying to y'all today because here i go putting it in my inner corner now i remember why i did that it's because the look needed it okay but on a regular i do not do that mascara i keep it real simple real cute i'm using ilia right now i got this in sephora i tried out a sample and it was eating I got it in my birthday bag from Sephora. So I got the full size and honestly, it makes my lashes look so nice, so voluminous um, because I personally stopped getting my lashes done at the lash deck because it would pull my lashes out. I just can't do it anymore. So now I do lash clusters or I do a strip and then I keep it pushing. I wish I had a good tip for you guys on how to apply lashes, especially individual lashes, but I really don't. The only thing I can say is I will take my clear glue, I do not like black glue, and I'll put the glue on my lash line, let it get tacky, and then I'll go in really quickly and place each individual lash before the glue fully dries. I think that works better than putting the glue on the individual lash. That, that's my opinion on that matter, to each his own. The makeup is complete and I have to set my face with the one size setting spray. This is the best setting spray I've ever tried in my entire life. It actually helps my makeup to last all night. So go purchase it. I'm not going to stare you wrong. If you've made it to the end of this video, you are a G. Thank you so much for watching this. I really, really enjoy doing my makeup and I really enjoy giving tips on doing it. As you can see, it's pretty flawless. If you see an imperfection, then you're a hater because I think I'm eating down right now, devoured. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So thank you so much for watching. If you guys have anything to say, leave it in the comments box below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.